filling up a daisy compressed air rifle cylinder. It's a pretty easy um, method of doing this, but just it's a little different than other compressed air rifles because it comes with a different type of fill adapter. It looks a little wonky looking. And when you first see it, the, uh, the rifle itself, you know, usually has a cover over this. So the first instinct is to unscrew this, which you don't. All you have to do is just take this off, which is exposes a hole right over here. I'm just trying to get this off, okay. So then very simply, you screw this into your compressed air tank. Oops, sorry about that, folks. And then take the other side of this. Okay, you can see there's a little hole in there where the air is gonna come out. And just recently, actually, we were at the gun club and one of these O-rings broke and of course air was leaking out and we're like we couldn't actually fill up the cylinder so i ran up the ace hardware and uh picked up another o-ring for 99 cents simple enough just okay so put this in here so it's in and then turn your air tank on and it's filling up and then of course there is a uh, device on the top you can see the pressure you know gauge but I know my air tank is fairly low, the actual scuba tank, so I'm not really worried about overfilling it. Open it up, shut it. So now it's all closed off. And then as soon as you take this off, a little bit of air will pop out, but that's it. And then you're all set to go. And put that cap back on. I assume this is just to protect it from getting anything inside there or anything, unless it looks nicer, so. Uh, again, hope this was helpful. And then this is a Daisy air rifle. Had a little bit trying to figure out how to actually fill it up. And, and the rifle, again, does not come with that fill adapter. You have to purchase that separately. We purchased the rifle, came in the mail, and we're like, you know, how we fill this thing. So then I had to, had to order that piece separately, which is about another $50. So the rifle itself is that bad. I'm trying to remember how much it was, but it was definitely under 600 for that rifle. And it's got a front peep sight, you know, rear peep sight, front uh, sight set that comes with it, and it's got your traditional circle and circle for target rifle use, and uh, it's really small. It's good for juniors. I think it's a perfect starter rifle, something to, other than uh, the more expensive, like LG 400s, which are like close to $3,000, so it's a big difference if you're, if you have a junior just learning to shoot and they want to um, start on something that's not going to break the bank. So hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you on another one. Like and subscribe. Thanks.